So there's a startup that is creating microscopic barcodes. And what is this useful for? Um, think of food, think of ointments, think of skincare products. Uh, sometimes these things go on what's called the gray market, and there can be a lot of fakes that are sold. And so sometimes it can be hard to tell if the actual cream or whatever is real. Um, obviously, it's real, but is it authentic? So having a ton of little microscopic barcodes, and these don't exactly look exactly like barcodes, but they pretty much work like barcodes in the sense that um, they're scannable and they could tell you um, what that substance is. So imagine, you know, I don't vape, um, but the material that goes into the vape machine itself can sometimes be inauthentic, it can be tainted, but if you have these little microscopic barcodes floating around, it can be verified as to whether or not it's been tainted or if it's authentic. So I think this is incredibly useful to make sure that consumer confidence goes even higher um, so you can be sure that you know what you're getting yourself into and that what you're using is completely safe. Um, and as there's more and more products throughout the future and more way to cheat things, I think this is going to be really, really useful. It could be used for more things that we don't even realize exist yet. One thing that it makes me think about is using DNA as verification. Now, I know that some people probably don't like that because it makes it easier for others to invade our privacy. Um, just to have DNA as verification, but I'm wondering what other people think about that because um, DNA is something that you can't really replicate. Obviously, somebody could scrape off some skin cells, but you know, if you extract blood from somebody um, or try to get DNA from a living person right then and there, and it matches DNA from something else, uh, if it match, if it's a match to you know whoever you're looking for or whatever, that's a great form of verification. You know, imagine using that to enter rooms, to enter buildings, um, to even to meet people. I think that it could be used, uh, but it could be faked as well. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I'm always sketched out when there's a new product, a new chemical that goes inside our bodies, because there's already tons of that. Um, and this is just one more thing to add to an ingredients list. But... Um, supposedly, it's very, very safe. It's been tested. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Um, let me know what you guys think about that. The other thing that this leads me to think about is how much more interactive the world is becoming. Um, this is making the world more interactive because you now have this substance, this material, this food, whatever it might be, and you can interact with it in a completely different way. You can scan it and then immediately pull up uh, data that tells you whether or not it's authentic and other information too, describing what it is that you're actually holding or whatever. It leads me to uh, think about AR. AR is basically like VR, except the world that you see is your own. And then the AR part is just an overlay of other content added to your world. So let's say that you're looking at like a restaurant and then see the Yelp review hovering over the restaurant or you look at a person and you see the LinkedIn profile of that person hovering up above that person or at least a little icon that shows it exists and that you can open it up, right? That's almost making the world way more interactive like a video game. And this is just another way of making the world interactive, but it doesn't involve AR. It's you know, tiny little barcodes um, inside our food and medicine. And I think that trend in general makes the world way more convenient for us because it allows us to use data. Um, it allows us to have access to data um, way more quickly so that we can make decisions in the moment rather than um, having a slower process like having to pull up our phones, um, having to call someone or whatever it might be. Um, let me know what you think about AR and uh, what ways that you feel like the world is just becoming more attractive uh, via technology. I'm going to be posting another video soon about new developments uh, 
with regards to technology and startups that are leveraging technologies to build products. See you guys soon.